Hello and welcome to a new video about programming ESP32. We used this encoder here. Né? We used the encoder with our Arduino. And I showed you how to set up the ESP32 in our Arduino IDE. So what I actually want to do is I want to use this encoder to manipulate something in an augmented reality. So first try is to connect this encoder to our ESP32 because I want to use the ESP32 because it can it has Wi-Fi capabilities. So here this is my ESP32 and this must be plus and minus. Here we have 3.3 volts somewhere. Some of us are here 3 to 3 all right and here are 4 in Whatever you need, this 4 in, this is the 5 volts from the USB port. The inputs are 5 volts safe, so can you can even use this 5 volt and put it in. This is what I'm going to do now here. Where is ground? Here is some ground. Here is the 5 volts. Yeah. And these are pins A and B. And I'm going to use here 2 and 4. It's labeled with G, with G2 and G4. This G stands for uh, general purpose I.O. Okay, so I A and B pin are 2 and 4 and I have power supplied this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to connect now. Should not burst up in flames, hopefully. No, does not. Good. Good. So this is the hardware setup. Pretty easy. Now let's see if I just take my program and uh, just select another board and download it to here if this is working or not. Let's see. So I already opened the program. I will now select uh, the tools. I have already selected this ESP32 dev module, all right. And uh, from from last time, this is good. Uh, what else do I need? The port is port number nine. It's also okay. Well, I will just press upload. Just press upload. Open the serial monitor. No output. <laughs> Turn it. No output. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe I've used the wrong board. So let's see it if maybe it's not an ESP32 dev module. Maybe it is is a lowlin. Upload once again. You know, the, such things may happen. Yeah, that you're using the wrong, the wrong board. It's downloading and so on. But shouldn't there be a message somehow? Ah, oh, nine six. This is also maybe something. Okay, don't counterclockwise. It's already, there's already something going on. Reset. Ah, of course. <laughs> Ooh, two and four. <laughs> the button pin. I will simply use, uh, I don't know, five. Of course. <laughs> but now at least I get an output, right? But why is it already doing something? Pin A, pin A, where the is two, what is two? 
this one if I remove this. It's now, is it now stopped? It is now stopped. Hmm. Something is bothering this. Mm -hmm. If I exchange this to Oh, as soon as I connect it, I have this problem here. Ground. I will use here 3.3 .3 volts. Maybe it's not that ground and 3.3. .3. What is happening now? Ah? Uh huh. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Okay. It seems not to be that easy. Maybe, ooh, maybe this is this. I need to use here pull up, input pull up. Maybe there are slight differences in the behavior. Upload. seems to work. Use this ground again. All right. Something is going on. I think I need to adapt the timing a little bit. So I'll not use 75, I'll use your use you 150 for debounds. Ah, see, adapting to a new hardware is, is something. Clockwise. Also clockwise. Huh. I'll remove this delay here. Let's see what is happening now. This is not working well. I will just use here rise maybe to the rising that we're Why I do not see this message? Hm. 
Hmm. Let's see if I exchange A and B lines. This is working then better. To think about this. I have to think about this. What is going on here? Maybe this is, was too short. Maybe this was too short. Now I can turn it on like look what. I'll think about this. Hmm. 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 Of course, I will use here. Hmm. I will use here. I will read in pin B immediately because pin A changed, right? And I will read in pin B immediately. And after delay, I'll make this shorter because I think this is better. After delay, I will read in pin A. And here I will compare pin A and pin B. Then I read in, in at different times, okay? Because I want to read in pin B immediately and not after a while because pin B should not be debounced. Hmm, this might do the trick. This might do the trick. I wonder that I never get this beginning message. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Still the same. How is this possible? Maybe I'm not reading the correct readings in pin B. Pin A is 2, 4. I will now simply trigger this when we are... I will... Yes. Arr, this is maybe an issue here. Because in here I need to give the pin number. But I guess it should work. This should not have changed anything now. No. 
still seems I will now use pin B. Let's see what is happening there. If now it is not triggered at all. What is then the meaning of this? Mm. No, it's working, right? Clock counterclockwise. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. No, it's working. Curious and curious. Now exchange these two things, then it should be exactly like before. I mean, just exchanged in the software. Clockwise, counterclockwise. The only thing which is different now is this. Now this pin B and pin A is reading. If pin B is now changing, I read it in immediately. And after a while I read in pin A. Maya. Clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. Now it's working. I accept this now that this is working. I do not exactly understand why. I must confess. Don't even know why I'm not seeing this reading from encoder. If we press reset now. Ah, reading from encoder, it's working. Maybe it's too fast. Okay, the port is not, not open yet. Okay, I can accept that, but why it's... This is now working. Pretty nice, even. And if I exchange this to pin A, yeah, let's see what happens if I exchange this here also. Then it should really work exactly, exactly the same. If this is now not working, in German I would say, then freeze and basin. I eat the broom. <laughs> Clockwise. I need to eat the broom. <laughs> this is interesting. Exchange this. Nothing much will change, I guess. Working stupid, yeah? but if I exchange here and leave, leave everything else, then I have all possible combinations. The only thing which seems to change something is if I change the interrupt to the other pin. And this is working. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. Aha. Uh -huh. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Clockwise. This is now working.
uh, just to be complete, I will exchange this here, pin A. I will read the other pin here as well. And if it's now working, it's really about triggering the interrupt. If you have any idea why this is, yeah, because the only thing which seems to change something is if I'm using here pin B as an interrupt, pin B is pin number 4. Yeah, if I'm using, if I attach the interrupt to pin number 4, it's working as intended. If I attach the interrupt to pin number 2, regardless of what I change as well, it's not working as intended. If you have an idea why this is happening, post it, please. <clears throat> I did not expect this takes so long. Ah, you never, <laughs> you never stop learning. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.